to know if you're losing your frames. Frame it out. So I finished up this beam. You know, at first I didn't want to do them, but as my cousin came and showed me how to do them, they're not super perfect, but I try my best with them. And they take so much time. And oh man, I just. made it to plaster all of the walls so it's just the beams and the columns you know it's just they're just too slow and yeah, it's difficult but thank god i made it through so as you can see in the ceiling here as well i start doing the mudding and i'm gonna coat and then i'm gonna try my best to sandpaper because i don't have the right you know equipment to to sandpaper them and also there's a little bit of painting going on in here gray you don't see it good but the, that's just the first coat the second coat we're gonna put on once you know once everything is you know almost finished so then we're gonna add the second coat so these are the window frames so I'm getting ready to separate the shower here so I just have these um, window here to, um, that's gonna be the last thing to, to well not the last because the floor is gonna have to plaster so so what I'm gonna put in I'm gonna show you the box here so these are what I'm gonna use to um to separate the the shower. And I mean these things a lot of people use them as well. So that's gonna be it there. Separate the shower. I just wanted to put it there first. Yeah, so yeah. So instead of using, you know, like those blocks and then I have to plaster it, I decided, you know. I'm gonna use the glass blocks so then it will save me some time. You know, I don't have to go back and you know do extra work on uh, those blocks because they're so close they will take up more space. So yeah. So we get to work again. Hello. 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 So as you can see, there's progress. Well, more than progress. <laughs> In the shower area, you can see that the towel is already out, out of the shower, shower section. There was, I mean, it's not really a mistake. It's just impatient. I didn't plaster. But I didn't plaster the floor because I wanted to get it done quick because I'm trying to finish up the work, you know, as soon as possible. So I didn't get the floor plaster. So there was, because it was a bit uneven, it was not fully level. I had tried to, to straighten on some of the, the section before, but I, I didn't thought about this side up here. So because this side was a bit in the corner, it was a bit high, so then it, it caused when I got this piece out, it caused this one to be a bit too high, so then I had us to make that this section over here a bit, you know, to try to get to meet with this part. But on a whole, it's not, it's not as I would have liked it to be, but it looks good. That's the main thing. And once the, the bedroom floor is, is finished, and the cap is on, I put the, the piece of trim. You're not gonna notice, but I notice. <laughs> I don't really like it, but it looks good. So inside of here, you know, I'm basically doing the same thing as we did upstairs, where I put where I put the PVC 
the PVC sheet on the wall. So as you can see, this side is already up. And this side, and there's a towel on here, as you can see. So what I'm doing here is, you know, it's a, it's a, I'm saying it's a small shower, no, but it's an okay shower. But imagine there's a tall person inside of here, showering. So what we did is that, you know, with towels on here, so then you can, you know, shower, you can sit down and use the, what, the, what is that called? The shower head. Yeah, the shower head, mm -hmm. yeah, true. Even an older person. Yeah, an older person, you know. Mm -hmm. And the floor is gonna be a bit higher, so. You can have any, you can even put a stool inside a shower and you know you can sit on the on the towel if you don't feel like standing and if you want to take a long shower. But other than that, you know it's a standing shower, so but this was nice to put on towels here. So you're gonna see the finishing work soon. So I'm working at this section today. I'm trying to finish the whole bathroom and I'm gonna also finish up the sink as well. And I'm, I'm moving to get the the towel put in in the shower, so shower section today as well. So it's a lot of work. So oh, and as you can see, I put the blocks, the blocks towel, the glass, the blocks. glass blocks, sorry, mm. glass blocks to um to separate the shower section. Mm -hmm. I was gonna use blocks first, but I didn't. I don't really like the looks of you know the concrete. So. The glass box looks more neat and yeah. a little bit more classy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so working time. We've also been working on the ceiling. So in the bedroom here, we basically finished this ceiling up here. We sandpapered it, and um, the third coat just went on and we installed the light. And in the bathroom, I don't know if you can see, but that the, the section over the um, stand-up shower has PVC, but the rest of it has drywall and we just installed, installed the light fixture as well. And so basically all that's left is this section over here in the main, um, I guess, living area, you could say. Half of it has the two coats, so it needs one more. And then we're sandpapering this one. And so after that, the, the first coat can go on and so on. And then the light fixture too. So... Once that's done, or while that's done, we're working on the walls to just painting so that by the end, the last coat can go on the walls and the flooring can go on. So you can see the bathroom is almost finished. Just the grout to um, put in, in between. And you know to finish sanding this on um, the the PVC and get it paint and yeah that would be it in the bathroom. So I'm hoping that we can get that finished soon. Still have these wall to fill in. We're not gonna put like a well, we're gonna put a a closet though that is that can just you know move to the side of the wall because of the space it's not that much space. I would have liked to get a slide in though, but that was too much money and you know too much work because of the concrete wall. So and you know there's still more painting to be done. Still need another coat in here. This side of the wall. They want this other doorway to go in the bedroom. We filled up too. And the same thing I'm thinking about doing here. But I'm not sure yet. So we haven't decided that yet. If we we're just going to put a curtain here. Or if we're going to put the same sliding door. Or just, a, you know, not sliding door, but the closet door. If it's just going to be just for the bathroom. 
since you're gonna need more privacy in the bathroom. And this wall is an accent wall. And it's coming close to finish. And here is a um, what was left over from upstairs floor and I wasn't gonna make them go to waste so I decided to put them on on this wall that we're supposed to tile. So it's gonna be finished soon so hopefully you'll get to see more. And here so just basically once I get the floor inside here tiles I can you know, start installing and you know, get this downstairs finished. But well, all of the the painting is finished in the ceiling as well. Let's see. And outside, we did some landscaping and hoping to get some grass to you know start putting in. We have some seed grass, but I don't really like the seed grass because they grow up straight. I like the grass that. A pasha grass that's what they call it and they run you know you put them one place and they will just spread all around so landscaping what we did this week or well, last week I should say I made, you know, like an S come around there. Not a full S, but, but that's the shape that we were looking for. So, you know, as the flowers then, you know, grow and the grass grow in, you know, we're gonna see more of the beauty. And yeah, and right up here as well, I started, you know, some design here. And these stone, and I'm gonna put beside the house there. So, more is coming soon, hopefully. As soon as the work is done, we'll be able to show you guys where we are. And it's a cloudy day, the sun is just really peeping out but it's a cool nice day not hot 